All right, guys. Man. Let's move on here, shall we, Paris? What do we got up next? All right, well, some of you may remember a couple of weeks ago when Eddie Murphy let it slip that he already started recording dialogue for an upcoming new Shrek film. Up until yesterday, there hadn't been any official confirmation of this until now. So DreamWorks officially posted on social media a short animated announcement that Shrek 5 is indeed coming and it will arrive in theaters on July 1st, 2026. So, John, do you think moviegoers are ready to return to a new Shrek film? You know what's funny? If you had asked me that question, when, when did the most recent Puss in Boots movie come out? Let's say a year and a half ago, okay? If you had asked me that question a year and a half ago, I would probably say, no, other than Taylor, Taylor who would, I'm pretty sure would murder his own mother in her sleep to see another Shrek movie. <laughs> 2022, John. Yeah. 2022 is when it came out. So a couple years ago, right? I would have said, probably not. Like people remember Shrek, people loved Shrek, but you know, it's been too long. We've moved on. So maybe probably not. Like I would have been down for one. But then that Puss in Boots movie came out. And which I thought was never going to make any money. And it made well over $400 million. But here's the thing. When I was in that theater for that last Puss in Boots movie, which, by the way, is totally a winner. That last Puss in Boots movie is a really great winner with one of the best animated, one of the scariest animated villains of all time with the big bad wolf in it and who the big bad wolf actually ends up being. Anyway, that the movie's wonderful. Anyway, at the end, though, Puss in Boots is in, uh, in his boat. He goes, I just want to go see some friends. And the camera spins around and he's sailing to... It's far, far away. Yeah, far, far away. He's sailing to far, and when people, when the people in the theater I were, was in saw that he was sailing towards far, far away, which is, of course, where Shrek and Fiona and Donkey and everybody live, my audience that I was with lost its mind, totally lost its mind, and everybody started talking about wanting, like, our feeds and everything, all filled up, everybody then started talking about wanting to see another Shrek film, so... My answer to that question a year and a half, two years ago was no, but absolutely I think the audience is there for it. I think there is a hunger for more Shrek. Uh, there's a nostalgia play to it, but also it's charming. Over and let's, let's, let's be honest. Shrek's three and four weren't the greatest. But that's fine because the characters are still great. And we love, like, even when it's a bad movie, I could just sit down and watch Michael and Eddie's Shrek and Donkey just talking, say, just walking down a road, talking to each other for an hour and a half. If that's the movie, I'm still there. By the way, Shrek 2 is the best of the Shrek films. Just I agree. Throw, I oh, love I love that one so much. Shrek 2 is so great. And lest you forget about just how successful this franchise has been, check this out. This comes to us from Variety. The Shrek franchise released four feature films between 2001 and 2010. The original Shrek turned DreamWorks Animation into a powerhouse studio with its $487 million worldwide gross. And then the movie became the very first winner ever of the Best Animated Feature Academy Award. Now look at this jump. The first movie made $487. Shrek 2 grossed $928 million. Both films competed for the Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival, while Shrek the Third and Shrek Forever After earned less acclaim than the first two movies. They still managed to gross $813 million and $752 million worldwide. Both Puss in Boots spinoffs were theatrical hits as well, grossing $555 million and $484 million respectively. I saw somebody asking in our live chat a little bit earlier, why are they making another Shrek? Well... There's about eight reasons. Why not? There's about eight reasons right there. The reaction from fans at the end of Puss in Boots, the fact that Puss in Boots had come out so many years late and was still made close to $500 million, the novelty of it, the run of success. And, you know, I saw an interview with the guy, the main producer, said when they handed him Shrek 5, they said, you can basically do whatever you want. And they handed Shrek, and the, the prevailing thought at the time was rebooting Shrek. Getting new vocal talent and all that kind of stuff. But the guy said, no way. No way. It's got to be Mike Myers. It's got to be Eddie Murphy. It's got to be Cameron Diaz. It's got to be that because we're going to capture all the nostalgia of Shrek and make a 
big delightful film. I'm telling you what, this can be a bad movie, and this movie's going to make five hundred million dollars. I'm put mark me down on the record. This could be a bad movie, and it'll still make five hundred million dollars. This movie, heaven forbid, if this movie's good, we're talking seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred billion. The first billion dollar Shrek film. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean millennial, millennials alone are going to show up in all their glory just for the nostalgia. I am stoked. I This is the best news ever for me. And I don't even care if it's bad. I really don't. I don't care. I miss these characters. So yes. I'm there. You know what? Do you ever go to Universal Studios Hollywood? Yeah. Okay. Down the one main walkway, they've got that little booth with donkey in it, right? The yeah, big yeah. animatronic donkey, right? It still makes me smile. <laughs> By the way, whoever, whatever cast member they have doing the voice of Donkey in there does a Nailed great it. Eddie Murphy Donkey. If you're ever at Universal Studios Hollywood, go see that. It still gets me excited. Like, I, there's something so charming. And listen, Hollywood has basically been suffering from a vitamin M deficiency for years. And that's, vi that's vitamin Mike Myers. We have, <laughs> we've had a, a horrible lack of Mike Myers in Hollywood at all. So just to have him back, even in animated form, it's great. And again, this is, I maybe even should have gone on, the, gotten on the phone with Taylor today, see if he could have driven in <laughs> to be on this because I'm certain he would be probably, well, maybe doing inappropriate things on camera at the, at the, <laughs> at the sound of this. But I'll tell you what, this is a great movie or a great move. I mean, I'm excited, a little bummed it's not coming till 2026, but it does take a while to make these films. So we want to thank a sponsor of today's episode, BetterHelp. You know, guys, it's one of the most unfortunate human tendencies that we have to try to compare our life to others. And social media plays a big part of that. Comparison is like the thief of joy, and it's easy to envy other people's lives. Because it, on the surface, it might look like they have it all together on their Instagram or YouTube, but in reality, they probably don't. Therapy can help you focus on what you want instead of what others have. So you can start living your best life. Give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. So get it off your chest with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash campia today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash campia. Guys, question is for you. What do you think about this news? It is now official. We are getting Shrek 5. We've got our release date in 2026. It's coming. Do you think that maybe this is too little too late? Or maybe you were never into Shrek. Maybe you think this is great news like I do. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.